Do you know how memory card flash memory and SSD works and store data? Before knowing that we have to learn something else, this is a capacitor that we have taken out from an electric circuit. This is a LED bulb. When we attach LED bulb with capacitor it did not turn on. That means there is no current in the capacitor. Let's attach our capacitor with our 5V battery for a second. Let's separate them. After that we will attach it with our LED bulb again. Experience what happened. Let's attach it. Great. Our bulb flash for a second and then have a red light. It is still turn on. Let's separate them it turns off now. That means when we attach any capacitor with electric current it charged and have voltage. Engineers use this property of capacitor to build memory. When it have current inside it gives one value when it have no current it gives zero value. This is only a single capacitor. If we have a lot of capacitor we can store more data in the form of zero and one. Let's attach all the capacitor in one line. This is a wire. We will connect all the negative terminals of the capacitor with the wire. Let's sold it. We have prepared one byte memory with eight capacitors. You know that one byte consists of eight bits. You know that bit is a value of zero or one. That every capacitor can save. These are our eight capacitor we will attach it with a battery from negative terminals. We will attach this little wire with battery's positive terminals so we can store data. Our flash memory is ready. Let's wait for data to came from CPU, so we can write it on our flash memory. Wow! Data is coming from CPU. It is arrived. Now we will write it. First value is 1 so we will charge the first capacitor. Let's attach the wire with it. 1 is now stored on it. The next value is 0 so we don't charge the next capacitor. The next bit is 1 so we will the charge the capacitor. The next bit is consists of 0 so we will not charge it. The next bit consists of 1 so we'll attach the wire with capacitor to charge it. The next bit also consists on 1 so it will also be charged. The next value is 0 we don't touch it. The next value is 1 so we will charge the capacitor. The capacitor and bit are the same thing. Capacitor saves current or not which represents the one bit. Well done our data is now stored on the flash memory. The more enjoyable thing is to read data from this memory. Let's find which capacitor have current and which one not. Let's meet the first capacitor and find out which value it have 0 or 1. We will detect current with a LED bulb. Great our bulb is lighted. That means it have value of 1. Let's write it. Check the next bit. There is not light it consists of 0. Put 0. Check the third bit. The bulb is flashed it consists of 1. Check the next one please. There is no light on it. This bit consists of 0. Check the next bit. Wow. The bulb is flashed it have 1 value. The time is for next one but it have light to flash. It is consist of 1. Now the time for next bit but it don't have electric charge so it consists of zero. Now check the last bit it is also lighted so it's consist on one. So let's compare the data to the earlier data is that same as we have wrote earlier. Great. We have get the same data that we have entered earlier. That means our memory is working well. Friend if we have always to feed data manually in every bit every time? No. No. 
In computer this task is being performed by a controller. Friends we have put the controller in it. It is now controller's duty to check every bit and write and read data on it. And then send data to CPU by this wire. Friends data is coming from CPU by the wire to controller and the controller write it on capacitors. When we need the data again the controller read the data and then send it by the wire to the CPU. We have only one byte memory we have doubled the capacitor's number to double the memory. Now we have two bytes memory. Let's watch on screen. On this side you can watch a big capacitor. Let go next. You can see smaller one. Little one little one. Go. At end very tiny capacitor. As the science and technology is developing, it is becoming smaller and smaller. At the end it very small. Even you cannot see it easily with naked eye. Even at zoom you cannot watch it clearly. Friends in flash memory there is capacitors but they are so tiny that you cannot even watch it. This size is decreasing day by day. Friends if this video is helpful for you please like us we will be very happy if you like our work. Thanks you very much for watching.